Yo, what's up guys? Cali Cowboy here. How y'all doing? Uh, morning after the draft. First round just went down last night. Um, I'll get into it uh, in a second how I feel about our pick, but uh, overall the draft yesterday, uh, first round, it was great. Uh, I loved uh, the, the trades. I loved the, the unexpectedness of all the picks. 49ers taking uh, or trading down with the Bears and the Bears got Trubisky. Uh, they gave up a lot for for Trubisky. Definitely gave up a lot for him. Um, he's a one-year starter. You know, don't know what he's gonna be. Bears feel like he's a franchise, so they went and took him. Uh, we'll see how that pans out. But right now, that doesn't look like a good trade at all for them. You know, and the uh, 49ers had a great draft. Really good draft. They got a couple of monsters uh, in their draft. So you know, they got Solomon Thomas who's an outstanding defensive lineman, the best one probably, besides Miles Garrett. And they got uh, Reuben Foster, Solomon Thomas, I think, and then uh, Reuben Foster. And uh, I'll get into a second Reuben Foster with our pick. But um, yeah, first round, it, it was going great. Uh, offensive players were sliding or t getting taken early off the board. Top 10 was like mostly offensive players. Um, and we had, you know, OJ Howard slide all the way down to the Buccaneers at 19, I think. Uh, that was that was pretty awesome, helping us, uh, you know, push those defensive players down the board. But you know, closer we got to our pick, some players got take uh, players got taken like we would have thought of. Tack McKinley is one of them by Atlanta, um, and uh, yeah, so players were sliding down. Um, and we, when it came to our pick, we had uh, you know we had a few options. We had Kevin King. We had. Taco Charlton, who we eventually took. Uh, we had Reuben Foster. We had like Carl Lawson um, and a couple other players. So for what we picked, it wasn't, it, it's not a bad player, but the way our logic, the way they explained their logic on it, you know, um, it's just, they, I feel like they don't realize that the whole league is watching us, you know, our every move. And what they said is that, you know, they took a player, uh, Taco, he doesn't even have a first round grade on him, you know, and uh, they still had a uh, defensive back with a first round grade and they didn't take him, which I'm thinking is Kevin King. And, uh, yo, secondary is just as much of a need as pass rush, you know, pass rush. Yes, we get it. Um, it's important. It really, really important. The most important probably. And, uh, you know, you pass on best player to take a need, you know, and uh, I don't think that's a smart way to draft. I think they know that. But, uh, you know, I'm going to trust the process. I'm going to trust their decision to, to take Taco, um, you know, as in we've been drafting spectacularly, perfectly, you know, these past few years. So uh, feels like Travis Frederick, kind of. Um, and we know how that turned out. So, uh, but still, you know, it's just the efficiency of how we pick our players. You know, uh, when we got Travis Frederick, we gave up like a third round to trade back. And we could have got like way more uh, for our trade. You know, um, and uh, it's just the way we go about doing things. You know, not necessarily the picks, but, you know, the discreet, discreet uh, <laughs> discrepancy or uh, the way, you know, the way we... Uh, we're not really aware of the other teams because if we're saying, oh, we're going to wait until the second round to get our defensive back. Well, every team knows that now and they're going to, you know, try to take them all now, <laughs> you know, quite simply. So, um, you know, there are there are uh, a lot of defensive backs still left as this being um, a deep draft uh, of them. So, you know, I'm not necessarily scared, but it, there could be a run on them and, uh, Kevin King's definitely going to get taken early, early, uh, early second round probably, and we, we're pick sixty. Got thirty more picks to, uh, until we pick. So, um, you know, I'm thinking we might take a safety. Is, is my gut feeling? Um, Buda Baker, no, because he's going to go early as well probably. Um, would uh, love to have him, um, but we'll see. We'll see. Marcus Williams, um, some of these uh, other safeties, and. Uh, We'll see how it goes, you guys. Um, but 
The pick itself, Taco Charlton, is not a bad pick at all. He has a very big frame, comparable to David Irving, uh, Carlos Dunlap, and uh, compared to Justin Tuck as well. So he's in that kind of mold. He's like 6'6", I believe. A uh, very long wingspan. He has all the physical traits and uh, to, to turn into something great. Um, but his knock is he, he is not consistent and that uh, he can't stop the run as well. You know, he's kind of a specialist, pass rush specialist. So, you know, he is what he is right now. He's already a cowboy. I've accepted it already. And uh, would have been nice to have Reuben Foster. That would have been my pick probably besides Kevin King. You know, uh, but uh, hey, we're moving on now. So uh, 49ers got Reuben Foster. So, you know, their draft was nice. Bucks draft was nice. Uh, didn't like uh, Philly getting, um, what was it, what was Barnett? Didn't like that. I uh, didn't like the Ra the Redskins getting freaking like a number two overall player, uh, that Alabama defensive lineman. Didn't like that at all. Uh, Giants got a tight end uh, to add another weapon to their offense, and uh, that's not ne that's never good. But uh, you know, hey, we uh, addressed the pass rush. <laughs> you can't say that they didn't. So uh, we'll see what happens day two, round, uh, day two, round two and three. Um, Holler me at Twitter, guys. Uh, I am on Twitter, uh, you know, live tweeting and about uh, what's going on in the draft at Cali Cowboy 619. And uh, thanks for watching, you guys. Uh, hit me up. I will talk to you all later. Peace.